So, because he's not here, we're going to see if we can do this. Today is Motivational Monday. Ye do jiggy jiggy jiggy. Oh, where's Fab? <laughs> I'm having to film today all by myself because Fab doesn't feel good. So today we were actually supposed to film a segment of how Mr. Fab and I met. So because he's not here, we're going to see if we can do this so that you guys still get the show. <laughs> so I'm going to film my version of a how I think we met, and he's going to film his version of how he feels that we met, and he's gonna film his from his house, and then when I send him everything to edit, he's gonna mesh it together so that you can get the full interview on how Mr. Fab and I met. So <laughs> uh, kind of a little wacky Wednesday, along with being Motivational Monday, right? But anyways, you're saying, well, how is it that meeting Mr. Fab is motivational? Well, I'm gonna tell you how. So anyways, this was back in 2018. Um, I was actually doing some stuff in my closet called Conversations in the Closet, where we would actually get together a bunch of influencers and have this panel in my closet and we would sell tickets. Nikki, quit digging. Anyways, we had this pan we, we would always have these, uh, I call them shows, in the closet where we would have a panel of four or five speakers and we would sell tickets and we would limit it to about 50 or 60 people in the closet sitting on the second floor and then there would be this panel of speakers and there would be the audience. And someone I was working with at that time uh, out of Atlanta uh, suggested uh, that one of the speakers be um, Mr. Fabulous because he had a great social media channel, he was a great makeup artist, and he seemed to really know what he was doing when it came to social media and working it and all that kind of stuff. So we invited him to be one of the panelists to speak and did the interview and everything. And we were so impressed with him that when I decided uh, it was time for me to, sorry, I'm sweating to death. I was running around downstairs with all the workers. When I decided that I wanted to uh, have an assistant, I had an assistant and things weren't working out so well. So it was time to find a new assistant. And lo and behold, we reached back out to Mr. Fabulous and asked him if he would be interested in working for me part-time, a couple days a week, um, which would still allow him to do what he wanted to do with his business the other rest of the week. And he said, sure. And so, literally, that is how we met. That is how it came to be that he started working for me. And here we are now going into our third year together and still going strong and so it's it's really been fun now to listen to his version i hope he tells it the right way because to listen to him tell his version it was like wow i i'm going to have such an effect on this young man it's going to be amazing so now let's listen to fab's version hold it hold it hold it one second right there because that is not how i remember how it went down <laughs> Hey guys, uh, when Teresa brought me this idea of sharing our story like this, this is not what we had planned, but I loved it. And you guys just heard her version right now. And it's pretty spot on. Um, like that's exactly pretty much how it went down. But from my side, it's a little bit more e emotional in a way. Um, it's a little bit more like life changing for me, you know, she was working, doing her job, and creating the content that she needed to do. And she was, you know, moving in the way that she had planned. For me, none of this was in my plan. It just popped out of nowhere and literally changed my life for, like, what's better than best. You know, I, I don't know how to describe it. But 
her story was correct, but a little bit more of a backstory coming from me. Before I met Teresa, three months before that, I was actually working retail. Um, I was working in cosmetics. I was working for a brand that I loved and I loved working for. But then a couple months after working there, I became honestly really depressed. Like I just didn't love my job anymore there. I felt like I wasn't being valued. And I made the decision to quit that job and leave. And I was going to pursue being a makeup artist full time. And it was one of the best decisions I made. I do not regret that decision because after that job, I went on to freelancing and I was making a name for myself and I was doing my social media and it was literally building and growing. And I was like, oh my God, I'm doing exactly what I wanted to do. And out of nowhere, um, actually, one of my family members went to Teresa's event that she had in the closet and she told me about Teresa and she was like, oh my gosh, there's this woman here in Texas with the biggest closet, the world's largest closet. And I was like, oh my God, like, that's amazing. Like, uh, I wish you would have told me about that event so I could have gone. I would have loved to have been there. She was like, you got to come with me to the next one or whatever. And I was like, okay, yeah. And I followed Teresa. I was watching what she was doing and I was like, so just amazed. And then I remember them... Uh, putting out a post or reaching out and I was like is this for real like is this really happening like they wanted to they wanted me to come on um for a segment and talk about beauty and how to do the perfect and I was just like this is not really happening right now like but it but it felt right like I felt like oh my god like this is such a big opportunity for me and whatnot so the day of when I come out there um, I'm super nervous. Like I'm like the, I'm just like I just am just so freaking nervous. And I remember um, when I get through security and through the gates, and I remember stopping at the stop sign right when I got in. And at the time, I wasn't even vlogging or anything, but just something came over me that said I need to document this moment. And I literally pulled out my phone at the stop sign. I'm sure there's probably someone behind me. Like, uh, can you move it along? But I literally pulled out my phone and I was like, I don't know what's going to happen today or what's going to happen after this, but I just know that my life is going to change forever. And I stopped the video and that was it. And I just, I just had a feeling that I needed to say that because I was like, I don't know what's going to happen after this, but it's not going to be the same anymore. And little did I know, it was not like the... The segment went perfect. Teresa was perfect. I remember meeting Carolina and the dogs and just, you know, and being in the closet. And I was just like amazed. But it also was like, I belong here. Like, I, I know I'm in the right place. It's like when you're in the right place at the right time, like you're following the things you're supposed to in your life. And I knew that it was right where I was at. And then shortly after, like Teresa said, they reached out to me if I wanted to come on and be on the team. And I was just like, yes, but little did I know. I was like, I've never edited video for, videos for someone else. I only edit my videos or pictures or shoot content or any of that. So I was just like, I can do what I can do. And look at us now, three years later, three years. And it's like so much more than just the work and everything I've I've learned and to grow in social media and all of that like Teresa's way more beyond that for me like she's really molded me and I caught that she was like a young man <laughs> she's really molded me into um literally the person I am becoming as an adult even though I'm already she loves to say I'm already an adult but I still feel like a kid but she's molded me to be this amazing person that I'm so grateful for. Like I have, I just have such a more positive outlook on life on things, especially when bad things happen or um, minor setbacks happen. Like, it's like she's always there. And I always tell her, I wish I could just have you on my shoulder like Jiminy Cricket all the time. Cause like, you could just help me out so much. <laughs> but she's like, just pick up the phone and call me. <laughs> uh, but I can't explain it. I just, I am hope I'm getting my message across that it's much more than 
a job and it goes way beyond more than this. It's like, it was like she was put into my life at the perfect time. And I made the right decision quitting that job and doing my thing. And then it's like, God was like, I'm going to put this angel here with you to guide you for your life. And you're just going to like get to where you need to be. And I was like, wow. But that is how we met. And I'm excited to see um, where time takes us, you know, because I know it's going to get bigger and better and we're gonna have a big old team and it's not gonna just be me <laughs> and you know even though it is literally just me and her we are effing rock stars because i swear sometimes when i leave there i am like how did we do that how did we get everything done i'm telling you guys she's just such a great mentor also if you guys want the feeling I have, you guys need to get a coaching class from her, a call, because I swear what she did for me literally can do the same for you. If I didn't um, work with her or know her, I would still get a coaching call and ask for that guidance and motivation and whatnot. So I know it can definitely help you guys out even more, more than the videos. So I wanted to mention that. So not a plug. And before I go, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the support and love that you guys have shown me on my channel and my social media. Like, you guys just so, so much love and I appreciate that so much. Before I go, I also wanted to say thank you so much for choosing me as the giveaway winner. I appreciate it. I will be there Wednesday to claim my prize. <laughs> no, but speaking about the giveaway winner, Teresa already picked someone. So, let's go see who won. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed listening to both versions of how Mr. Fabulous and I began our time together. <laughs> quite, quite funny, quite interesting, and uh, I think we both feel blessed. I feel blessed to have him in my life. I think at times he feels blessed to have me in his life for guidance and motivation and inspiration. Um, and he's just so talented at, w at what he does, whether it's makeup or video editing or social media or whatever. Um, I think we both feel very, very blessed. So let's get on with today's video also on updating you with what's going on here at the ranch. Well, this is only our 10th or 12th dumpster, I think. Good Lord, see the other one down there? Completely overflowing. So we're gonna put it up closer to the house because <laughs> down there is getting really muddy. This guy is such a good guy. The minute I need a dumpster, he's here. Good guy. Beautiful dumpster on my driveway now. <laughs> Instead of down, down in the yard. Oh well. It's probably better to put it up here on this gravel anyways. He does everything. That's why Sergio has been with me for eight years. He does everything, 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 everything. And just like that, they've got it cut out, cleaning up the mess. Wow. So when we go to cut out that wall to put in a big pretty window in the dining room to match this beautiful window that we put in the family room, it's going to be a big old mess too. But it's going to be worth it to have matching windows up front. Yes. Love that damn window. Mm. So uh, another day at the ranch. Floors are looking so good, they're starting to grout them. <coughs> they're getting all of this done today. It's looking so good. Getting this one over here by the bar area. It's 
looking so good guys looking so good loving the windows loving everything about everything we're doing i'm loving it gorgeous rainy day outside perfect day to get a lot of work done in here it's looking good can't wait to get all this cabinetry painted get the walls fixed and painted looking good looking good looking good yes so my third pod is being built oh my god i'm so in love with these pods oh my god shoe pods yep they are so cool guys i love them because they're low i can see all the way to the other side they're so cool i, I just you're probably getting sick of seeing them but i just love them <laughs> the opening for this one will be on this side the opening for that one will be on the other side and the opening for this one will be over here so that away oh my god stunning can you say stunning i'm in love oh i want to get this finished and finished now come on guys let's work faster oh well it's coming along guys rome wasn't built in a day neither was teresa romer's next huge closet stay tuned so remember guys i told you that i was doing lucite and brass handrails all the lucite handrails came in and today the brass came in so sergio the man is going to be looking at installing these handrails how cool look at all these brass handrails holders so cool so cool can't wait oh my god these handrails are gonna be stunning oh my god Look how pretty, guys. Oh, my God. So pretty, so pretty. So Sergio's over there working at trying to mark out where he's going to hang everything. We've got two different staircases to do it on. Yes. And we are continuing to lay tile. He's laying tile here. The other guy is laying tile back there. And this guy is grouting. Grouting. So pretty. They couldn't hang the door today because it's raining, so they're going to hang the front door tomorrow, but it is ready to be hung tomorrow. And now they're working on the back door because this is going to also get installed tomorrow. They weren't worried about getting it ready because it's a very fast rip out and it'll be ready. So tomorrow will be new doors. You guys will see that probably on Wednesday. So, yes, things are transforming quite nicely. Quite nicely. So pretty, so pretty, so pretty. And just like this, they are taking out the back door. So, the new doors are going to be put in tomorrow. They couldn't do it today because of the rain. But yes, they're taking away the back door today. It'll be ply boarded shut also. So, <laughs> not anywhere near being done, but look how it's gonna look. Of course, the board has to be painted the color of the wall, but look at that. Lucite and brass handrails. Yes, I don't think they've got the other one hung yet. No, same thing's gonna happen on this wall. But it's gonna look so cool when it's done. Look at that, lucite and brass. Love it. Okay, the winner of the cute little pink Dior handbag is Giselle Lamb on Instagram. Her name is on Instagram, Giselle Lamb. G-I-S-S-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, Lamb, L-A-M-B. Giselle Lamb. Congratulations, Giselle. Looks like you could be Hispanic because uh, everything's in Spanish on your Instagram page. So congratulations, Giselle. We will be reaching out to you in a private message so we can get your information on how to get you shipped your amazing cute little pink Dior bag. So congratulations. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was a little storytelling of how Fab and I came to be and uh, 
we're, well, I, sometimes I call us Lucy and Ethel. If you remember the old Lucy show, uh, I, th I call me Lucy and him Ethel. Lucy and Ethel. <laughs> I think we're funny together. So, anyways, guys, with that said, I hope you enjoyed today's video and can't wait till Wacky Wednesday because it's going to be fun. A lot of fun stuff coming down the pipeline. And until next time, bye bye.